Hey, you guys. Welcome to Melissa Valentine's Nursery. My name is Melissa and excuse me, you know, I have my videos. I am like just rolled out of bed. Um, so I'm here today with my Presley sculpt. Um, she is my partial silicone. She's completely all silicone except for her cloth body. Um, I called her Melissa because she was very expensive. So why not name her after me, right? Um, and I don't dress her that much. She's got rooted hair. Um, and I do not dress her very much. She's got like a blotchy look. But she's very cute. She takes a real passy. Um, but as long as it's a small one. Um, so, and I love her to death. I don't dress her a lot. Um, because I'm scared. Like, she's got fingers that I can, like, put my hands under and everything. So, but her name's Melissa, and she feels so good. But, I, I you know, her artily, her artily, her artist is Natalie Fakebridge um, from Precious Reborns Nursery. Natalie, let me tell you something. I have to say, you know, she's one of my favorite artists. Now, you know, she just started for the past few months, she just started doing, um, what do you call it? Silicone babies. Um, not too long ago, a few months back, maybe, maybe six months ago, I don't know. But she just did a prototype um, baby. And she has, right now, on Reborns.com, a partial silicone named Sylvia. And oh my gosh, if I had the money for that baby, like I keep going back to that baby. And I'm going to tell you something. If I don't buy a baby from that, from the doll show. Now you guys are watching this a week later after the doll show. So if you guys, if I don't come home with a baby, I am taking my whatever money I got. And I'm going to try to get that baby, that silicone baby, because that baby is gorgeous. Like... I love this baby to death. She's got the blotchy skin. But the other baby, like, I really like. Like, I really like that baby. Um, but anyway, so I do love Natalie and her babies because her babies look alive. Like, you know, sometimes some artists, their babies look gray or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to introduce this baby. And you guys know I'm very fond of Natalie. So, you guys, we are doing... Let me see. I don't want to put, I don't want the rings on my glasses. So maybe if I like, maybe if I tilt it like this way and you guys don't see too much of the rings because I really don't like that. So we are on episode three of enjoying our reborns. Um, and we are on the letter E. Every episode is going to have the letter of reborns represent what the video is about. The whole purpose of this video is to deter us from f buying Reborns. You guys know the economy is like shit. It doesn't matter where you live. Everything's going up. Um, and the United States, like I'm in the U.S. And it's just ridiculous. Like it is ridiculous. Um, groceries cost me a fortune. And when I was, when I had my husband here, it was even more ridiculous so, um, you know, we can't always afford to go spend. So this, this series has to do with us being happy what we have, relishing in, in what we can within what we have for our nurseries, right? So we are on E. Now, you all know that I am a huge advocate for education. That's what E is today. So you guys will have seen this a week after my doll expo. Um, so if I make reference to the future, I'm going to the expo tomorrow in real time, like now. Um, so we're on episode three, enjoying our reborns. We are on E for education. You know, I've noticed like, I don't know. I grew up with education being an important part of our lives. We grew up watching documentaries. To this day, I watch documentaries. Joseph is a huge doc. My son is a huge documentary person. Like he watches mostly like World War II documentaries. 
Um, he likes like the Soviet, he's very interested in the Soviet stuff. Um, my, I watch a lot of Victorian, Regency period, Edwardian, like that type of history. And, um, so, and I know, a, a good bit about, um, uh, what do you call it? Like British history and stuff. And that's just because that's where I gravitate to. So if you go on my YouTube, <laughs> because this house is huge on education, we don't watch a lot of TV shows. We read a lot, particularly me. I read a lot. I read like three books. I just finished um, One of Us Has to Die by Geneva Rose. Um, and that was a good book. Um, and I read it on Audible's because I actually read with like real books and then I have my um, Kindle and then I have my Audibles when I'm driving. Um, so you go on my YouTube and you're gonna see Reborns, you're gonna see, uh, you're gonna see, what are you gonna see? You're gonna see Victorian stuff. You're gonna see a lot of stuff from the UK. Um, I even get some stuff like from Australia. Um, you're gonna see, Hitler because of World War II stuff Joseph watches um you know and you're gonna see a lot of like Stalin and tons of variety of historical stuff and even even then sometimes like ancient Egyptian stuff because I do get into that a little bit so like education is huge in this house but you know when it comes to our reborns that's important too and believe it or not stuff if we educate ourselves, and let me get further into this. I'm, I'm getting there, you guys. You know, remember, we're trying to deter from um, buying more Reborns, right? I'm trying to slow down because it's addicting. Now, when it comes to the Reborns, education works both ways. We can either educate others um, to decrease the stigma or the taboo of collecting reborns. So for instance, some of us are YouTube creators like myself. So I get on here and you know, a lot of people have come to me and said, Hey, I'm a closet collector. Um, you know, your channel is a safe place. Yes. My channel is a safe place. Come to my channel. Enjoy my channel. See my babies, visit us. Um, talk about your babies. I like my comments to be more of a forum. If you ever feel like you want to hold a conversation within my comments, go for it. Like I, you know, I'm all for community. I'm all for, um, us reaching out to one another and making each other feel at home. Right. Um, so hospitality on my channel only, right. Um, when we educate others and we decrease the stigma, we're taking away we're putting our attention somewhere else, somewhere positive. So, you know, we have our babies, but we're educating. Um, I was watching somebody. Who was I watching? Kelly Girl? I don't... I was watching Kelly Girl. Now, mind you, I skip around a lot because I don't have time to sit and watch Reborn videos all day. I work full time. I take care of my house. I have meatballs on the stove right now. So I might turn this into clips and put them together. <laughs> So, um, she was saying how she had bought a breast pump and it was only strictly for aesthetics. Somebody had gotten into her comments and said something along the lines, oh, you think you're going to breastfeed your baby? Something like that. I don't know verbatim. I don't know verbatim. So, you know, she made a video creating awareness saying, hey, you guys, obviously, you know, I'm past the childbirthing age. I'm not going to try to, you know, make milk, right? And then she did talk about adopt, like parents who adopt that she knows who did, I'm going to take her, her, I want to see her fingers, who um, did adopt and, and you can actually stimulate um, hormones to create milk. And I didn't know that. See, we're educating ourselves without even realizing we're educating ourselves. Um, look at her fingers. It's so cute. Okay. So. If we can educate others and reduce the stigma and the taboo within the hobby, right? We're distracting ourselves. We're using our babies to send a message out, okay? Now, in my series, you know, some of it is directly having to do with our babies. And some of it may have to do with outside of our babies, but within the reborn hobby, okay? 
Um, and then of course, you know, we can also educate ourselves, right? So, um, when it comes to educating others, how do you think, I don't like the ring light in anything. I don't even like it in the TV. So I'm like moving it. How do you think you can educate other people? Do you think you can take your reborns out to the store, the supermarket, um, you know, a general merchandise store, Ross, TJ Maxx, what have you, Burlington. And, you know, if you, if you feel brave enough, you know, take the babies out. I took a whole toddler to Dollar Tree. And let me tell you, it was the deep South and I got looks. <laughs> It's in one of my videos here. So how would you educate others, right? I do it through my community here on YouTube. Um, how can we educate ourselves? Well, you guys, you know, I have done videos on, I've done a video on the cops, you know, stories on how they thought reborns were real in cars or in someone's house. And they thought there was like some type of um, infant neglect or whatever within the home and they came and they, you know, so there's a video on that. There's a video on studies. There's a video on, you know, we can educate ourselves within the hobby, right? Maybe we want to educate ourselves. Maybe our sculpts have a story. Um, was it the Aspen and Leaf? They're twins. Those sculpt, that sculpt. You know, and they have a sad story. So maybe our sculpts have a story, a background story. Um, I don't know if there's any other sculpts with a background story. I know a lot of them like have to do with like Bountiful Baby. They'll take, you know, people they know and use their babies, whatever. But like the Aspen and Leaf sculpt, go look it up on the Bountiful Baby website. Um, they have a story. It's sad. So prepare yourself. I'm not trying to like depress everybody. Um, you know, so... We can also like studies. I looked up, I looked up and I haven't even like, um, I haven't even done a video on it, but there was studies on like dolls in general. And, um, I don't want to get too deep, but what was it about? But it was about children and how the children who, um, had dolls and was geared towards the doll, um, toy area in their development they more like dolls. They were more empathetic and more um, individuals, like more affectionate. So they did studies, you know, um, but I don't think it was like a deep, because, you know, children, you have to be really careful ethically um, in studies. So, you know, um, we educate others, we educate ourselves. And that's a distraction from buying reborns. Um, this one particular video is going to be slightly different from future videos, um, you know, so how could you, I want to hear this in the comments. Um, how could you educate others on stigmas, you know, because a lot of people think, you know, you know, the, you know, the stereotypes. Oh, uh, why don't you adopt a kid? I don't want to adopt a kid. I don't want to adopt a kid. Why don't I want to adopt a kid? Now I did want to adopt a kid. I'm not, well, I'm not against it, but at this, I'm 40 years old, I'm 40 years old. I'm going through a divorce, everybody knows. Um, I have an 18-year-old son, right? I've got an old man dog, right? With dementia, who's going blind, paces the house like he's lost. He's got osteoarthritis. He can't even get down the back stairs of my deck now. I'm having to take him out the front of my house because the front of my house is um, closer to the ground than the back. And his days are numbered. And I'm really like dreading it because I am an animal person. I have my cat and she's got health issues. So, you know, I have a kid. Yeah, adopting would have been great. I had actually wanted to do that and I had discussed it with my husband, but it wasn't in the cards for us. Um, so, you know, and then some people think, oh, we're nuts. You know, all of us are crazy who have babies or something like that. No, let's erase that stigma. If a man can collect baseball cards or... Um, you know, model cars, or some people collect board games. Why, why is there a stigma or a taboo for us to collect our babies, right? So, you know, um, looking at her wrinkles on her hands. Um, okay, so the thing is, right, we can distract or we could take our babies, research the sculpt, um, learn more about them, maybe learn how to, um, 
learn how to customize our babies, even in the smallest way. And I do have a video coming in the future in this series regarding that. So stay tuned for that. Um, we can, like I said, educate, our, educate ourselves. Um, and I know a lot of you guys aren't huge into like learning, but it makes it easier to learn when it's something that you're interested in. Kind of like the whole thing where, you know, in school we were told to read books um, and you didn't really like reading at school. But then when you graduated school, um, I'm reading comments on my YouTube people. It's coming through. I don't know why. Like I didn't upload any videos in the past 24 hours. I thought everybody had already seen it. Um, but when we graduate school and we start reading books we enjoy, we like reading better. Do you know what I'm saying? If we educate ourselves with things we like, then we are, you know, we enjoy it better. So like with the reborns, you know, let's look up reborn studies. Look up, look up the history of reborns. Look up, they call it the reborn movement. Um, do some research. Hold your babies. Be around your babies. I have all my boys here. Well, one less because one's in my bedroom now from a video I did earlier today because you guys know I, I pre-do videos. So like look up. I could look up my Presley sculpt and see if there's a story behind it, um, you know, and that'll help distract us and make us feel like we can enjoy the hobby better in general. Enjoy our reborns, the hobby, learn more about it. I mean, how beautiful is it to extend our knowledge just beyond the dolls that we have, right? Um looking up the history of the reborn movement. I have um, Sandra, when I very first started talking to her, I think it was my, my first happy mail from her. And I wasn't even a, um, I wasn't even a, uh, what do you call it? Like a close friend of hers or whatever you want to call it. Like we weren't corresponding regularly. She had sent me a book about the reborn hobby. Uh, and the whole movement and this one particular artist, how she was the first one to sell, you know, on social media, on a particular platform and all this sort of type of stuff. And it was really interesting because it talks about the doll shows and everything. So I thought that was fascinating, right? Me being, um, uh, you know, someone who's into academia, you know, I've been to college, university, whatever you call it. I know like in other countries, they call it university. You know, I have a graduate degree. Um, you know, so, um, let me look, look at my notes because I'm going off on, Woo. okay. So, you know, um, we can use our reborns to create awareness of different conditions, you know, mental illness, health conditions, you know, a lot of us use our babies for depression and anxiety, right? So we can, within those communities, if we're part of a community, um, you know, any type of like therapeutic community, we can talk about our dolls in those communities. The taboo is not, the stigma is not as strong as it used to be. So we can also create an awareness within our other sub interests, right? Or, or, or whatever we belong to, right? So if I belong to a group for anxiety, you know, I may say, hey, you know, I, I am, I'll open up and come out the closet if I am in the closet with this stuff. And I'll say, hey, you know, I am into the reborns. This is my thing. You know, they mean a lot to me. Um, and this is how I deal with my anxiety, right? Um, people, you know, you got different types of groups. You got addiction groups. You got AA, you know, things like that. And if it's the babies that help us. Now, you know, sometimes... You know, we may have to solve deeper problems within to heal. And that goes past the babies, right? But the babies are a good help. They're a good aid. They're not the answer to our issues, our maladies and everything, right? Um, so, you know, but we can also use our reborns to decrease the fear of the unknown, like the fear for those outside the hobby, they may be scared of us. I go to the store with a, a toddler. I went to the Dollar Tree. Oh, my God. That was like the worst experience. I have good experiences when I go out with my baby babies, my little baby reborns, right? I have great experiences with that. But when I took my toddler to a dollar store 
in a very conservative town that was small because I didn't go in my town. I went next town, a couple a town over. The looks, people looked twice at me like I was nuts because I had her sitting in the shopping cart like like a toddler, you know. Um, I got looks, I got looks, but I don't give a damn. Like, yeah, it makes me feel a certain way, but who are you? You don't know my story. Everybody's got a life story and you don't know mine, right? So we can educate, right? We can, um, you know, say, hey, create an awareness, okay? So, you know, you all know that this is me. Um, this is, you know, I, I'm on YouTube. I take my dolls out on occasion. I'm going to the doll show tomorrow. I'm going to make videos on that. You guys will have long seen that because this is a week ahead. This is the day before the doll show. Um, in fact, I think my video... Oh, that's why I'm getting comments. Because my um, last week's series, okay? So, I, I, you know, that's why. I'm wondering why all these YouTube comments are coming in. That's because I just released... It's a little after 6. I just released... I always release my videos 6 p.m. on Friday for my series. And it's Friday and it's just after 6. So, I want to know... How you guys could create awareness within the doll community. Do you do it through YouTube? Do you take your babies out to the store? Do you take your babies out to um, out to eat? Do you take your babies to friends' house, family's house? Um, do you go on Google and research doll hobby? Do you go to doll? There are doll websites. Um, as far as like, what did I find? There was like a doll something. I don't know. It was like all of, it was a doll. God, I wish I would have wrote it down. It was all about dolls. Like they know the history of dolls and everything. Um, you know, and so, you know, maybe you can go and educate yourself and distract yourself from buying reborns and, and have, you know, use what you have and learn more about the hobby in itself. Right. Because a lot of us like to go on Reborns.com and just look at dolls. Yes, it's fun. I'm still doing that and I need to stop. Um, especially me knowing tomorrow I'm going to the doll show. I'm going to see tons of beautiful babies. Um, so, you guys, please tell me in the... I only want the comments to say how you will educate. Either you educate others or yourself. Just talk about that or you can compliment whatever, you know. But... You guys, if you made it this far, okay, do not put nothing like this in the comments. Do not talk about what I'm about to say in the comments, okay? This is a trivia. This is a trivia. It's only three questions, and it has to do with educate, right? Because this is what this is about. So, we're going to do a giveaway if you made it this far. But don't talk about it in the comments, you got to be 18 years old. You have to be a subscriber. And I'm opening it up to international people. Okay. Now, it's going to be a small, small giveaway. But I want my international subscribers to be part and feel included in this community too. Right? Okay. So, um, I'm, I got three questions. These are trivia questions. And you have to get two out of three correct. I don't care if you Google it. I don't care if you ask your brother, your mother, your cousin Fifi, your Aunt Tilly. I don't care. Right? Ask who you want. But two out of three have to be correct. Um, or 100%. I don't care. Two out of three at least and email me the answers, okay? I'll put you in a drawing and I'm gonna select the name and it'll be on the next giveaway. Um, the next giveaway, not the next giveaway. It'll be on the next, um, how am I gonna do it? The next, I guess I can do it on the next, um, the next video, right? Um, so, now, here we go. Get a pen and paper because you're going to have to do a little research. We're going to educate. This is what this is about. This is educate, educate. All right. Number one, and these are easy, you guys. 
Google it, ask family, friends, whatever. And you have one freebie to screw up, right? Like, like uh, what do you call it? Bingo. You get one free, free box, right? Okay. One freebie. Number one. What word, what word, if you're writing this down, stands for the fear of dolls? What word stands for the fear of dolls? Just one word. Okay. What word stands for the fear of dolls? You guys are going to email me these. Email me these. If you want to be in this. And I'm going to show you what the giveaway is going to have. Two. What year did the first reborn doll appear on eBay? What year did the first reborn doll appear on eBay? What year? The very first reborn doll recorded. What year did it appear on eBay? And number three, what decade, what decade, I'm talking about like decade, okay? So, you know, 1970s, 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, 2010, like the decade, okay? What decade did the reborn movement begin? What decade did the reborn movement begin? So email me your answers. You have to get two out of three correct. Um, and the winner will be revealed in the next series episode. Um, I'm going to draw names. So the deadline for this video gets released on Friday. I have to give you a deadline because I have to give myself time. Um, the deadline is going to be, let's make it two days before. I'm going to have to make it Wednesday. I'm going to have to make it Wednesday. It's going to be like a five-day opening. So from Friday night to close of Wednesday. So that gives me all day Thursday and Friday because I do my videos in advance. So Wednesday, let's see, Friday, today's Friday for you guys, Friday at six, it gets released. So you have till the end of Wednesday, right? I have to write that down because I didn't think about that. End of Wednesday, it's quick, bing, bang, boom, right? 18 plus, you have to be a subscriber and please do not say anything in the comments. This is for us. This is for us. So let me show you what I have. And this is open to my international friends as well. Because I know I have UK watchers. I know I have people from Australia. Ah! Okay. So I have brand new Kate Quinn stuff. Now, I may throw some extra stuff in the box. Um, I have this orange sleeper. Um, it is really, really soft. It's zero to three months. It can work for boy or girl. I made it very, um, I, I chose things that were very unisex, right? Girl, you can put a bow on the hair or whatever, you know. And I may throw extra stuff in. So, Kate Quinn. It's an orange sleeper, right? Um, I also have, um, to go with it, I have this Kate Quinn headband. This is stuff I never use, but you know, this helps me clean out my nursery. Um, you know, and I may throw extra stuff in, but this is Kate Quinn items that I never use. Headband with, it's a braided headband. This is zero to three months. Um, and I believe the headband is also, it should fit a, let me see, whatever medium is, it should fit. Um, zero to three months. Okay, it may fit your newborns. If you know, you can do many things. You could this to match with many different things, okay? So wait a minute, there's another one. I also have Kate Quinn, um, another sleeper. This is green. Now I tried to make it unisex, boy or girl. It feels very good, you guys. Like the Kate Quinn stuff feels amazing. Um trying to see something real quick. It just feels really, really soft. Um, so, and it's a sleeper. And with it, I have decided to include, this one I did use one time. It has a little cottage. 
Um, it's an elf hat to go with. Um, and I'm also going to include, and this can work for either outfit if you accessorize with like um, a bib, but I have this Kate Quinn hat as well. Um, never used. So um, I have this sleeper with this cottage. Um, it's a cottage on one side and cottage on the other. Okay, to go with this one. Um, and then I have this out this sleeper outfit and then I'm gonna throw in this because you can work this these are like these colors all kind of fit um, and I may throw something else in um, and if I could find that reborn book because this is on education I will throw that in as well I have to find it first so 18 plus you have to be a subscriber Please do not put nothing about this in the comments. This is for us if you've made it this long. This is like secret part of my series giveaway. This is part of the interactive part. Um, and I made it more unisex for boys or girls because I want everybody to feel, most people have newborns or zero to three month babies in the hobby, I'm realizing, into some capacity. And I have a lot of brand new stuff. So, um, this is my opportunity to not only clean out what I have, but to open up and include, you know, inter you know, it's, it's not, you know, I, I'm, it's not a lot, but it's still, it's Kate Quinn. Kate Quinn is nice stuff. Um, if you know me and Sandra, we love our Kate Quinn. You, you can't find Kate Quinn in the, in the, in the Walmart. You can't find Kate Quinn, you know? Um, so Kate Quinn's nice stuff. So I'm going to send it in a, um, envelope. I have to be able to fit what I'm going to fit in there. And it's got to be less than four pounds because it is going to cost me a fortune. So, um, you know, I, I want to include my international folks too. Um, and who knows, maybe one day I'll have a bigger giveaway, but I wanted to, um, I'm excited. So you guys have till Wednesday, close of Wednesday because Thursday it's over. It's over. Um, you know, so have your answers, email me, um, and then I'll do a drawing and we'll take it from there, okay? Um, you guys, I'm so glad you guys joined me on this. I'm a huge advocate for education. Um, this is our third episode. And, um, you know, it's a distraction, you know, um, from buying Reborns. This gives us another way to enjoy our hobby. And this, and every single episode uh, from here on in, next week is going to be B. So, um, and, and don't forget, you know, I may include, I may throw some extra stuff in there. Um, but you guys, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. I try to keep the videos about 30 minutes. So, um, until next week, I love you guys and I appreciate you for being here. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and like I said, in the comments, tell me how you educate. Tell me how you're going to educate or how you already do within the outside community or yourself. All right, you guys. Love you. See you. Bye.